I'm often asked, how do I find a sewing class? What book should I read? What do I need to learn? How do I know what kind of sewing class is right for me? Well, this video is intended to show you the types of things you might need to learn in order to sew the things that you might want to make. Maybe you've seen pictures of things that inspire you, vintage photos out of old books. Maybe you have an idea for your wedding day. You want to wear a glorious gown, make a beautiful entrance, and then zip off the bottom tier for some sort of grand reveal where you dance wildly around the room and impress everyone. Maybe you've seen photographs of beautifully draped garments, and you think, I can do that. Now in some of those books, there are even patterns that look like this. But what in the world do you do with that? And when you buy very old patterns, sometimes very beautiful, you can get instructions that look like these. But what do you do here? The big pattern companies like Vogue, McCall's, Butterick, Simplicity offer patterns and envelopes like these, with instructions inside and lots of information on the back of the pattern envelope. You'll need someone to help get you through, or at least a very good book if you've got some experience. When you flip your pattern over, you'll see lots of information on the back of the pattern envelope. Information about sizing, information about all the different versions of that pattern that are included in the envelope. How much fabric you'll need to buy, how much interfacing, how much lining if needed, what notions you'll need to buy. It gives you lots of information, all of it important. Okay, here's the deal. You get all that information on the envelope, and then inside the envelope. However, it is not a sewing lesson. It's not like putting together furniture from Ikea. This is something where you need a background of information to get you through. You'll need to know how to operate your sewing machine. You'll need to know how to read the instruction sheet. You'll find a glossary on there. It's not a full glossary. It won't tell you everything you need to know, but it'll help you along. You'll see that there's a fabric cutting layout. You'll need to understand what that means and what those different shadings mean. You'll find your pattern pieces inside. You'll need to know how to cut them. You'll need to know what to do. Now sure, there are plenty of people who are successfully self-taught. That is something that you can do. Just remember that time is a painfully slow teacher and you will probably spend a lot of effort and a lot of money in trying to teach yourself. If you get a good teacher, that teacher will show you the ropes and help you to avoid a lot of different mistakes that you can make. What kind of mistakes can you make? Well, for example, pattern sizing. Chances are you're not the size of the pattern. You can decide to make it exactly as the pattern is with no adjustments, but you will probably be unhappy with the fit. You may choose fabric that is not suitable for your project because of something that you don't know. Directional prints, fabrics that have a nap, fabrics that are unconventional widths may create a problem for you when you go to cut them and when you're trying to figure out how to configure things so that it looks right when you actually sew it up. Matching stripes and plaids, things like that can be very challenging for the new sewer. Now, of course, you can stick to simple projects, but it limits your creativity. A teacher will help you to get the foundation of knowledge you need in order to explore your own creativity and your own interesting design ideas that you'd like to try. So if you're thinking of taking a class or getting a book, then go to www.findadressmaker.com and the top links in the center of the page. Click on Teachers for classes or teachers and click on Help Me Sew for information about books.